Hi there, my name is Mike. I've decided to make this video to provide some information on how to create song lyric overlays for your Facebook Live presentations. This is particularly for uh, churches who want to uh, include uh, your worship and uh, praise song lyrics on the screen um, during that part of your service. Uh, for many small churches who don't have uh, the budget or the technical ability, um, this is a solution that is very simple, that is free and pretty quick uh, to set up and include in your uh, um, Sunday services live presentations or Facebook live streams. What you first have to do though is uh, use the OBS software which is a free download. Uh, there are many uh, really uh, instructive videos on YouTube uh, that explain how to uh, download uh, and set up OBS. So I'm not going to repeat any of that. Um, do a quick search on uh, on YouTube and you'll be able to find uh, the information you need. What this video is going to uh, provide is uh, one of the steps um, in your sort of setup process that will allow you to have your song lyrics appear on the screen during your worship, worship time. What I'm going to do first of all is in OBS click to the uh, studio mode um, and uh, this assumes that you know how OBS works and uh, how the preview and program screens operate. So in order to provide on-screen lyrics um, you need to create your lyric slides but I use one of two tools. The first one and my preferred tool is PowerPoint but not everybody will have access to PowerPoint. So the other tool is a free online tool called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. But if we go to PowerPoint to start with, uh, you're able to create slides using a custom slide size and then copy and paste lyrics into a slide and then simply duplicate that slide copy and paste the next, next set of lyrics in. I would create a separate file for each song and so you create as many slides as you need for all the lyrics of that song. The next step is to save the file as a PNG file. OBS requires a PNG file in order for it to use it. So you would select the PNG option name the file your song name and it will save a folder for that song with each slide as a separate png file you're then able to incorporate or import those files into obs and i'll show you how to do that next the other system as i mentioned is canva so in canva as in powerpoint you're able to create custom slides you hit create design, custom dimensions, set your dimension to centimeters, width 24, height 11. And this seems to be about the minimum size that Canva will accept. Once you hit create design, you can then click on the slide, select black background, Go to text, bring in a text that you would want to use, resize it and position it roughly where you want it to be. Now in Canva, you're going to need it to be a little closer to the top because some of this slide will actually, you will position in OBS uh, down lower because it's a little higher than it needs to be. What you then do is bring your text in, copy in from uh, your source, whether it's the internet or wherever you get your text from, paste it in as you did for PowerPoint. You are then able to duplicate slides, paste in the next set of text, duplicate again, paste in the next set of text until you have all the words for your song set up. You then hit download. The download button will cause a file to be saved into your download folder on your computer. 
a separate file, PNG file, will be saved for each slide. You can then move those files into your folder under the song name in a similar way to how PowerPoint is saved it. So you can have each song as a folder with all the slides for that song saved in that folder. Once you have got all your slides set up, you then come back to OBS. Now we want to create for each song a scene with that song's lyrics in it. I have already created two scenes. One I stand and you can see that by clicking the eye and turning off the other slide that I have in place. I stand in awe of you shows up here. The other one I have is I worship you. I'll turn that on and turn off. I stand in awe of you. You can see the graphics are slightly different. This one was created in Canva. The other one was created in uh, PowerPoint, but by selecting the correct text and getting the, the right sort of thickness, etc., you can uh, get rid of any fuzz, make it nice and clear. Anyway, we want to include uh, the next song. How we do that under scenes is we click on the plus sign, go to image slideshow, create new, and we're going to put a name in here for our song, and I'm going to call it Isn't He. That's the name of our next song. I click OK. Now, the first thing we do is under slide mode, we change it from automatic to manual. Then scroll down, click on the plus sign, add files. We come back to the folders where we have our songs and the lyrics for each of the songs within those folders. Here's Isn't He. Click on that folder. I select all the slides that I've created, click open, and that brings those files in to OBS. Click OK. So now the song has been brought in. It puts it at the top. I actually want it to be in the order that I'm going to be uh, singing the worship songs. So I slide it in below uh, I Worship You. Isn't He will be our third song. I'm going to turn off I Worship You and turn on Isn't He. You can see it places it in the top corner. So we're going to have to move it down and resize it so we get a decent amount of uh, um, visibility of the words without it becoming overly obtrusive on the screen. So we now have it positioned where we want it to be. It's nice and clear. The last step we need to do is we need to set up our ability to turn the slide on and off and to be able to scroll through the lyrics. We do that by clicking on settings going to hotkeys and slide down to the part of the hotkey list that represents the scene that we are putting these in. So lyric overlay and I'm going down to show isn't he. I'm going to select my hotkey as Z, which means when I click Z, it will show isn't he. When I click X, it will turn it off. The next thing I do is go down to the song itself. I find Isn't He. I'm going to say to get to my next slide, I'm going to push the right arrow. To go to my previous slide, I'm going to select the left arrow. I've now set up my ability to turn the slide on and off and to scroll through the lyrics. I hit apply, OK, and we're all set to go. So we now have our songs set up. When in the service we want to select a particular song, I actually find it easier instead of using the hotkeys to select the show button, hit the slide to get it across to the right hand side into the program screen, and then to click my arrows so that I can scroll through the song. While that song is on the go, 
I can select my next song, turn that on in the preview screen. When we get to I Worship You, hit the slide. We've, that song now appears on the program screen and I can scroll through that. While that's happening, I can, in the preview screen, turn off the other songs and turn on the next song. When we get there, slide it across, start scrolling through. Once we are finished with all the songs and we're going to continue on with the other part of our service, I can either click off or I can click the X hotkey. It'll turn it off. I then hit the slide bar. All the song lyrics have gone and we can continue on with the service without the lyrics. I hope that this has been helpful. Good luck and have fun.